my name is Jess Mee and I'm from Lazy Cake Textiles and today I'm going to be putting together my Kromsky Rigid Heddle Heart Loom. So I've got a screwdriver and a pair of scissors with me. So in the box we've got our instructions of the different products they do. We've got some filler to protect the loom. And then we've got all of our pieces for our loom. We've got a bag of screws. We've got this which has got our helper and it's got our string and it's got our pieces for our warping frame on the back. We've got our shuttles and our pickup sticks, so we don't need those just now, so I'm going to put them to one side. And we've got our dowels, so we don't need them just yet. We've got our hook. We've got our heddle blocks, so I'll put them here. These are our cross pulls. Handles. We've got our beams. We've got our pedal. And we've got our side frames. There is a diagram on the back of your instructions that shows you what each bit is called and where it all goes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up everything in the right place. So we want to get our frames here. And if you look on the inside, there should be an R and an F to show which goes at the front and which goes at the rear. And then on the inside, there's one, two, three and four. So we need to line those up in the right place. So if we look here, our one and our four need to be like that, as I'm looking at it. And then our three and our two need to be there. So we've got the F next to me, which is one, and then the R there. Then we're gonna get our beams and take these off so we can see the ratchets. And on these, you'll also see you've got an F and an R. So we put those in the right place there. And then finally, we've got our cross supports. So on our cross supports, we've got a one, a two, a three, and a four. So we need to line those up in the right places. So I've got my three and four there, and I one and two here. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to go in our bag of screws. And so we want to get these, which are your pawls. And then we want a we want a pan head screw that's got a small washer. So I've got my pan head screws and the, the smallest washer that we've got there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this onto here. I'm going to do the first one onto the F. I want the little arrow bit to be facing the hole. And it should join on like that because there's a magnet. So I'm going to screw it into the last hole. I'm not going to tighten the screw all the way just yet, just in case. And I'm going to do the exact same on the other side, so it should want to attach 
and then you have a little arrow to be fitted the whole way. So now we've got our metal shims, so we've got two that are that size and then we've got four that are that size. So we're going to take our beans, so I'll take the front one first and we want to put, we want to put the biggest one on this side where you've got your ratchet and then two on the other side. Like and exactly the same with the other one. So then we want to slot it all together. So now we're going to take our cross supports. So we're going to make sure they're in the right place. And then we want two wood screws. So in our pack, we've got four wood screws that are that size and we've got eight wood screws that are that size so we want the bigger one we've got eight of and on the side here we've got two holes and so we want to line that up where our number is and we want to put two wood screws in every bit Then we're not going to tighten these all the way, we'll do that bit later. Now we want to get our handles and the wood, the four wood screws that we've got left, and we're going to attach them to our beam here. So if you look at your handle, you should have a hole for a screw, and if you look at the end of your beam, there should be a hole as well. So this is a little bit tricky, and it takes a little bit of time, but you want to line those up and then screw all of those in. So now I've got all my handles on, the next thing I'm going to attach is my heddle blocks. So I've got two, two screws like that, that have got the washers and the nuts on them like that. I'm going to unscrew that. And then if you look at your heddle block, you've got a little thing there which is going to slide in so it's, it's got a little wooden peg so so if you look at your loom on the side you've got a little thing here which is so you can fold the loom in half. And so when we attach our heddle block, 
we want the screw to be here. So I'm going to line up. this up here, put the little wooden peg screw like that. and get our screw pop it through So that's one of our huddle blocks attached and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So they should line up with each other. So that's what it looks like. There's our huddle block. I unfold it like that. You'll see that's where our huddle blocks are. So now we're going to attach our string. So we're going to get that over here. So we've got two pieces of string. And then we should have four screws left. And if we look at our beams, we should have three holes going all the way through. And then we should have two smaller holes. So we're going to take our four screws, screw them in there. We're not going to screw them in all the way. We're going to leave them about a centimetre away. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to attach our string so that we can attach our dowel. So I've got my string here and what we want to do is we want to tie it into a loop on each end. Just like that. So I'll do one on the other end as well. So to start off with, if we look at our beam, we've got one hole here and we've put our screw in there. So if we get it so that both our screws are looking at us like that, we want to go in to the hole just behind the screw. And then we want to hook our string onto our screw like that. And then we want to get our dowel. So we're going to go over our beam. And if we get our dowel here, we want to then go underneath our dowel and round over the top. There is a diagram of this in the instructions as well. So then we're going to come back round and we're going to go through this hole here. So 
So we pull that through, then we're going to go underneath the beam like that and then round over the top and back underneath the dowel so it should look like that. Then we're going to come back round over the top through this the same hole that's behind the screw. And then it's going to loop back over, hook itself onto the screw. And then I've just tightened it up so that it's all ready to go and it can be held in place by your helper. Now I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So now we've got both of those attached, we're ready to add our header in. And we're ready to start warping. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you are needing some help with your warping, if you go to our website and we've got our um, warping up tutorial on there and then we also have weaving classes and we do a two day weaving class where we show you right from the beginning how to warp, how to weave and different techniques. So thank you for watching.